All right, what is up, everybody? So I am, like, super excited about the NRS rework. It is basically everything I was hoping it would be. So uh, I'm here on Steel Path, Ani. Um, I just wanted to kind of show some gameplay for the build. I, so I've been testing him basically since the patch came out because, you know, Dante is cool, but, like, you know, I love Anaros, so it's really sweet to see uh, Anaros getting some love. So I've basically been testing him since the patch came out earlier today. I think this is probably the build that I'm going to be using the most. Um, so I just wanted to show that off a little bit, then I'll hop in the sim similar chrome and uh, go over the build. So, um, yeah, basically... Anaros is pretty much Saren now. Um, not quite. I'm being a little superfluous. So you have your your Scarab Swarm, which spreads to enemies. And, I mean, it does, like, pretty decent damage, so I'm not doing anything to them. It does apply the Corrosive Status effect. Um, then you have your Sandstorm. <clears throat> and we knew all this before from, like, the dev streams and stuff. The thing is, is that you don't know how it's going to work until you actually get it in-game, right? So, um, I, one thing I was a little concerned with is just, like, in the past, there's been some ideas that are, like, you know, they sound cool, but when you actually get them in-game and you, you know, try to use how they're implemented, it just, you know, it's either, like doesn't work well or whatever um that is not the case with an rs like everything they did is just it's incredible like i mean yeah so um sandstorm is absolutely ridiculous like completely insane this is like I, this has to be like the best grouping ability in the entire game well like it is it is so good so, so, like, basically, you know, all I've been doing is just grouping enemies up, you expose them to ground finishers when they die, and you do a ground finisher with your, you know, your favorite neighborhood dagger, and uh, everything's dead. Uh, you're immune to status effects, you're practically just straight up immune almost all the time. Um, if you really want to spice things up, you can throw his four out and, you know, armor strip everything if you, as well extremely low uh energy usage because none of his like his three doesn't cost any energy his one which you know still operates the same you can still do finishers on enemies his one and his two both only cost 25 energy and his four is 100 but it's kind of like a you know you're not spamming his four you kind of like use it once because when you use it on an enemy as you suck in other enemies you're also going to be applying the Scarab Swarm to them. So sometimes, like, you don't even get enough enemies to really, um, you know, attack because things are just dying from your four. So, um, yeah. I mean, who? I'm not sure, you know, like, how this will scale into, like, late game. But I think for right now, um, Inaros is pretty freaking awesome. So, um, I think, you know, I personally think that the Inodem it has a lot of synergy with the, the new version of Anaros. So, that's what I'm using here, and I can go over the, the build I'm using on that. But yeah, like, I mean, he's actually super fun. You actually use abilities on him now. And I think he is, like, 500 trillion times better than he was before. So, for all the Anaros enjoyers out there, um, myself included, I think this is a pretty awesome patch. Um, so, I'll probably hop out of this mission. You know, I think this kind of like... So, one thing I will say, I just wanted to show really quick. So, you might notice I'm using Tenokai on this dagger. Um, so, part of the reason is, sometimes, like, the wo only wonky thing I will say is, sometimes the ground finishers are not super consistent. Like, you'll kind of just be swinging, and, like, you don't actually get a ground finisher off. So the reason I have um, a Tenokai on this weapon is... And, honestly, you don't even need Tenokai, frankly. But it's just nice for, like, oh, man, okay, it worked there. But let's say, oh, my ground finisher didn't work. Well, I'll just, you know, I'll just do a heavy attack. Because ground finisher or heavy attack, either one is going to kill whatever you group up. Um, and so there's... 
you know, there they are, just do a heavy attack, blah, 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 now they're dead. Um, and you might notice my heavy attack counter going up very quickly to 12x. So I'm not sure if this is a feature or not, but currently the ground finishers on Sandstorm enemies is there, it seems like they're all counting towards Arcane Crescendo. So it's very, 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 very easy to max out that arcane with Anaros right now. Um, so yeah, oh, here here comes a... Uh, oh, uh, let me see if I can find a Eximus unit really quick. Where are they? No, I want an Eximus. Okay, anyways, what I was going to say is if you mercy kill an Eximus... Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, I don't want to do too much damage. Come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you see how much... So the armor on Scarab Swarm... Holy shit, dude. He literally died by accident. Okay. The uh, the Acolyte died by accident. Anyways, so if you have Power Drain... So if you look at my buffs here, I have Power Drain, which is a Parazon mod. So that increases the strength on your next ability. So I think on Anaros, you're going to want to... You don't really want strength on him because the only thing that scales with strength on this build on him now is the ar additional armor you get from Scarab or whatever it's called, Scarab armor. Uh, so you, it's kind of better to just like use snapshot effects because you can see it jumped way up from like 300 to like almost 600, and that's from because it doesn't matter. Like you could have 99% of scarab armor with your base strength and as soon as you snapshot some strength and use scarab armor again it'll add in that additional snapshot snapshotted armor right so you know just one more time um so let me just give them some you know scarab swarm stuff and yeah i mean jesus christ man this is just holy moly all right let's get into the simulacrum Oh boy. Oh man. So it's a dirty secret I have. I have to be honest. I am an Anaros enjoyer. I've always liked Anaros and uh I know he was, you know, kind of like the black sheep of Warframe for a long time because he doesn't have shields, you can't shield gate on him. Certain other content creators really hate Anaros. And you know what? Yeah, he was boring, but he was a nice lazy option. For, you know, if you just wanted to be really chill, just do, like, your Steel Path incursions, not really have to think much, do some hijack missions, you know, back when that was, like, more of a thing. Um, so I'll just turn off. Let me go with the... Oh, oh, this is another thing. So these battle groups are awesome. I think this is such a cool idea from DE because it's like, hey, like, it's more of, like, a realistic... First of all, it makes filling up your simulacrum way easier. Second of all, it's like, oh, I want, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go into like a murmur mission. Let me like summon a bunch of enemies that are typical to see in a murmur mission, right? So I think that's really cool. I'm not sure if they increased. No, they didn't. <clears throat> I think there's like a new similar crumb or something that you can get more max enemy level, but whatever. So I'll go with like an Oricon, you know, battle group as they say. So, um, right. <clears throat> so you know. I mean, we already did this. So these are a little bit higher level higher level than the, the mission I was just in. So, yeah, so when you ground finisher, it kind of just, like, hits everything. Um, and everything dies. And then, like, look how much... Let me, let me let the combo counter tick down. So I got 90 combo counter off that one ground finisher. So you, you rapidly stack up your ground or your combo counter with melee crescendo now let's get into the build so there's kind of like three elements to the build there's anaros himself and, and you know the the quote-unquote build that i'm using there's anaros himself inodem which i think is like one just sounds like it should be an anaros weapon and two i'm really you know i use inodem a lot with ash right now but it's really nice to have another frame that can like really leverage this weapon's like unique aspects um, I'm also using a hound, which, like, you know, is pretty, pretty common these days. Like, hounds are pretty insane. I will say, like, for Anaro specifically, obviously you're going to want to run Link Vitality. 
um, that that's going to be <laughs> way better than shield capacity. Um, so I would just you know probably make that change. Um, honestly, like I would even consider dropping evasive denial for link vitality. Um, so <clears throat> you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to do that right now. There we go. All right. Let's throw link vitality on there. Get some more HP on my my doggy. Okay, so yeah, now we got a nice 11,000 HP dog. Won't die as much. Um, Alright, so for a Naros, um, so I don't think focus school matters. I'm just going to kind of ignore your ranged weapons. Frankly, like, you can kind of use whatever, like, ranged weapons you want. Um, I, I think he's just really strong right now. So... All right, so you can kind of ignore this. I was kind of memeing a little bit because he summons the sand kavats. All right, so in terms of scaling, right? Because because when I make and now I actually would be really curious if people would want. I've been thinking a long time about making a video about like how to make builds, um, and I'm really curious to see like if people would be interested in that. Um, because that's something, you know, like, just, like, the process that you go through when you're making a new build on a frame. Because um, that's something that some people have asked me about, but I, you know, I'd just be curious if people are interested in that. So one of the things that I look at first when, you, you know, I'm making a build on a new frame, and this is basically a new Warframe. Like, the Inaros rework is basically a new frame. Um, which is great, because, frankly, his abilities were literally trash before, so it's really good. Um, so for duration, like, it's not really like that important. You could maybe replace, um, Hunter Adrenaline for primed continuity, you know, get a little longer duration on your Scarab Swarm, get a little bit more duration on Sandstorm. It's, it's okay. You know, I think, I think that's kind of like up to you for personal preference. Um, I think the Umbro mods are just are super good on Anaros. I mean, I think they were before. They're even better now. You're not going to get more health than this with one mod. Um, so, yeah. So I think, you know, the Umbro mods are kind of a no-brainer. Um, in terms of your aura, that's pretty flexible because you can full strip. I kind of just had corrosive. I was actually testing some stuff out with that. But, um, I mean, you could just run, like, you know, sprint boost, whatever. Whatever the hell you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, enemy radar, sprint boost. Uh, you could probably do some pretty meme stuff with the mecha set, but I haven't tried that out quite yet. Steel charge for more melee damage and a little more capacity. Totally up to you. Um, now, the thing that I think is really cool... So one, if you run the Umbral set, that gives you enough strength to use overextended and still have a little bit of extra strength. And, you know, he doesn't really scale much with duration. He doesn't need... Efficiency is not really good on him, I don't think, because his abilities are already so cheap. Um, range is really nice for Sandstorm, but the new Elemental Sandstorm augment increases well i don't think it's really new per se but like you know it gives you range right so why put stretch on this build when you could just put elemental sandstorm and yeah it's not going to benefit your four as much but the thing is you're sucking things in with your two which also helps spread your four so um i like this combo of the umbro mods plus overextended plus now the other in addition to giving you some range, and so this will we'll get into the melee weapon build in a little bit. So this also basically turns Sandstorm into like the best enemy grouping plus priming ability in like the entire game, I think. You're completely immune, you're sucking enemies in as you're moving. When you stop, they are right at your feet, and if you're running this augment, they are completely primed up with whatever status effects you want, ready to get just completely destroyed. And I, I can't think of anything better than that. That is, that's awesome. Um, as far as Arcanes go, you know, I have the Naros Classic on here still, Guardian and Grace. I think, technically, you could honestly, I mean, this is kind of like a little old school. Honestly, I, I think you might be able to drop one of those or both. 
Um, the one that I, you know, would consider is like Arcane Blessing, which gives you more health when you um, pick up a health orb. So this gives you like 1,200 health total once it's fully stacked. So 1,200 health, I mean, you know, that gets you up with the Umbral set and Prime Vigor, that gets you up to like, you know, like, you know, pretty, pretty good, you know, 9,700 HP. It's not bad. Um, the thing is, is because Anaros already has so much health, that's not actually that large of a percentage increase. And I think that Guardian is going to get you more bang for your buck because when you already have this much health, adding more armor is going to be a massive increase to your effective health pool. Um, now, Arcane Grace, like... It's really hard to give this up on a Naros. This is just so core to him and gives him that, like, literally AFK playstyle, you know? I mean, it's not AFK anymore because you're actually using abilities, but in terms of, like, your survivability, it's it's just so much healing because you have so much health. So I think I'm probably going to stick with these two Arcanes. Um, Arcane Blessing is something you could think about, though. So then I have Adaptation, because you're health tanking, so, like, you know, it's really nice just to get that extra damage reduction. Um, and then these two slots, I would say, are pretty flex. Um, for your, uh, whatchamacallit, for your, uh, Exilus mod, you don't need Prime Surefooted, which is really awesome. It's because your three, your Scarab Shell, just gives you status protection all the time. So, um, you could run preparation, but like, frankly, it's, it's not like amazing. Honestly, I probably will just put this on here realistically, um, just make them a little faster. So you don't, preparation isn't that great because like an Aros doesn't have super great base energy. So you're not actually getting that much extra energy. Um, Amara's Anguish, you know, there, there's, like, some other options. You could just get, like, a little bit of extra range if you wanted. Like, it's it's kind of totally up to you what you want to use the Exilus slot for. Because, like, the two kind of meta options for the Exilus slot are Prime Surefooted and Preparation. And Anaros doesn't really need either of those. So, because his, like, his buff that he uses to get rolling at the start of missions costs health. It doesn't cost any energy. So you don't really need preparation and you don't need Prime Surefooted. So another flex slot. Um, I went with the Hunter Adrenaline route for energy management. That seemed to work pretty well. You know, it's it's always been really good on Anaros and Nidus because those two frames don't have any shields. I think those are kind of like the only two frames that can actually use this ability. Now, unfortunately, it, it does give you energy back after damage reduction. So between all the armor you have and adaptation, it's not like, you know it doesn't give you like you're not like full you're not getting full energy every time you get hit on steel path i mean i can just go you know i can just go show it really quick let me um spawn in some corrupted enemy god this feature is so freaking cool like god man d is awesome d has just been absolutely crushing it okay so now i have 80 energy oh actually okay it, that is pretty it's pretty fast um now adaptation wasn't stacked up so you know um, maybe not as fast as it could have been, but, uh, yeah, all right, let me just, God, that's, your combo count goes up so fast, oh my goodness, I'm just, I'm, I'm in love with the Naros, I'm not afraid to admit it, okay, so Hunter Adrenaline, pretty awesome for energy regen, I haven't really had any energy issues with him, um, like I said, his buff takes health, so, like, you never really care about having energy, um, and then, yeah, I think this is kind of like the flex slot. I actually am not sure. Let me just double check, because I know they changed some of, like, the health mods. Um, I don't know, so that's 55. This is 7. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that Prime Vigor is still the best health, the uh, other health mod you could get. Yeah, so 40, 50. Yeah, okay. So I would probably use Prime Vigor. You could use Health Conversion. That's another option. Um, oh, actually, yeah, actually, that's true. So, Prime Vigor is a login reward. I did forget about that. My apologies. So, um, as an alternative, I would probably use, like, any other health mod, pretty much. Like, Carnus Carapace is pretty good. Um, yeah, 
like maybe health conversion really whatever like any any mod you want honestly or you could just run like primed or you know some duration maybe whatever up to you so i i'm sorry i forgot that prime of vigor is a uh, a login reward so elemental sandstorm now i think sandstorm is so originally i thought his four was going to be crazy and i still think his four is really good also honorable mention to his other augments I mean, like, Anaros just has, like, too many good augments now, I think. So his his three, I think this is probably going to be good for, like, um, endurance runs. So if you're, like, you know, if you really want to push Anaros to the limit, this kind of turns him into Nidus a little bit. Um, so, yeah, so I think that this is fine. I'm assuming you're going to just be able to mitigate the slash proc with um, Sandstorm, because you do heal from every enemy you're hitting with Sandstorm. So I do think that you can probably heal through the slash proc. I haven't tested this out yet, so I'm not sure. I haven't even come close to dying, so it's hard to tell. Honestly, like I feel be because you're just invulnerable a lot of the time now on Anaros, like it's you would have to take a a lot of damage to die on Anaros now because you're just immune so much of the time. So I kind of feel like this is a waste. Um as far as desiccation's curse go goes, I th I honestly think the best thing about this is getting more kavats. Um, so you can you can definitely try to fit this in. I just have no idea where this would go in this build. Um, I don't really want to drop prime vigor because that is a pretty good chunk of health you're losing. Like that's almost two thousand HP. So yeah, I I don't really want to drop prime vigor, and I think elemental sandstorm is just the best augment. So. It's tough, you, and you need something for energy management. You know, you want you could maybe drop adaptation for another augment if you really wanted to. That's another option. So, mess around with it. See what works best for you. Um, Archon shards. So I did get a. So ignore that. This is a plus three. You know, this can be a plus two. I was trying something out. It didn't work. So you want two plus two, two normal emerald archon shards. The other three. So I I have these empty on purpose because i'm actually i'm trying to get a good feel for like what i want to put in those um i think there's three options so with the build i'm using because i'm not using primed flow so i was thinking about having max energy from blue orbs i don't think that that's worth it anymore because frankly you, even with no energy mods i've felt i have never felt an issue like casting abilities because of hunter adrenaline um, you can, so that leaves basically either health or, sh or, 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 uh, or armor. Now you don't get that much health from Archon Shards. So in terms of like a percentage gain of HP versus armor, you're getting a much larger percentage increase by using the armor shard or using blue shards for armor. So that's what I'm leaning towards. Um, I have not decided yet so that's why those are empty i'm probably going to fill those with armor shards though okay so now just to like one thing that's kind of important so i'm not sure like if people know but um let me see here so like the the reason that hounds are so good is because of manifold bond so um companion mods apply status effect from their weapons right and uh, when you kill enemies with status effects, your companion abilities go down or get cooldowns reduced. Now, the hounds have access to Synergized Prospectus, which is this like spark that shoots out. It just shits status effects all over the place, right? Um, and when you combine this with Contagious Bond, so if your companion ever happens to kill an enemy with a status effect, like your status effects just start spreading everywhere and copying each other and your your pet turns into Saren and everything dies. Uh, Synth Deconstruct is there to get more health orbs because, you know, those are nice. I It's not really particularly useful for this build, but it's useful for a lot of builds. Okay, um, and so for this, I just have heat or uh, viral heat and radiation on my pet's weapon. All right, so now getting into the Inodem on Anaros. So let's go over the evolutions really quick. So the base evolution, more attack speed, more range, awesome. One of the weak... Now, daggers are extremely strong weapons. Um, one stat on daggers, so I'll, I'll get back to the evolutions in a sec, but one stat on melee weapons 
that people often ignore is follow through. So follow through is, I mean, it literally, you know, it, it, what the tooltip says, it modifies the amount of damage dealt each time an additional enemy is hit. Okay, so daggers have by far the best follow through of any weapon in the game. So when you're swinging with a heavy attack, you know, if you hit a huge group of enemies, by the time your weapon hits the last enemy, like some weapons have really bad follow through. I'm, I don't know if I can remember anything off the top of my head, but like, oh yeah, perfect. Hespar is 0.4. So every time you hit an enemy, it's dealing only 40% of the previous hit. So like, after you hit a couple enemies, you're not doing like any damage with the heavy attack, right? Or with any, you know, with any strike. So daggers have such high follow through because they have such low base range. Now that gets mitigated because Inodem is an Incarnan. So when you go into Incarnan form, it gets like a shit ton of range and attack speed. This is basically like two prime mods worth of stats from going into Incarnan form, which is like... Okay, that's insane. Uh, more attack speed. So, you know, even even more. This is like another mod, basically. 60% um, finisher damage, which is the equivalent of the plus finisher damage mod. Um, you get combo on finisher. I mean, honestly, you can kind of like put whatever on this one. Um, the other ones are just like kind of useless, so I just went with that. Um, Uh-oh, they're shooting me now. And then for this one, since I am, um, you could use the Blood Anointed. Um, I don't think it really matters. I went with the Stun because it's just like more CC. So this is, I, I think that Stunning Brutality is probably better in like an Endurance type situation. Because you, where you would want the CC. Oh, wow. I've literally never seen that happen. My... Frame was shooting while I was in the arsenal. Okay. Very interesting. Never seen that happen before. Now, as far as mods on the Inodem. So, you can just, like, ignore... I mean, you can put basically anything here. I think, um... Instead of this Riven, I would probably put, um... Either Radiation. So, put this. Uh, maybe Electricity... You could and go melee influence, but I don't think I would really do that. Um, or you could do, you could just put finishing touch. That's another option. So I'd probably do this if I didn't have the ribbon. Um, it works totally fine with without a ribbon. Like it doesn't matter. You're doing like so much damage. It really doesn't matter. Um, so you're priming enemies a ton. Condition overload is a no brainer. Primed reach, hit more stuff. Sacrificial steel. You're doing heavy attacks. Also a no brainer. Um, Vicious Frost and Virulent Scourge to get Viral. So the cool thing about Anaros is you're applying Corrosive with your 4, and then you're applying Viral with your Sandstorm. So when enemies drop down, they have like little to no armor, and they're like fully prepped with Viral. And whatever you do to them, whether it's a ground finisher or a heavy attack, they just die. So, you know, Amalgam Morgan Shatter to get a little bit faster heavy attacks, um, quickening for, like, you know, more combo count chance and attack speed. You could probably use Prime Fury here. You could probably experiment with dropping attack speed altogether. Um, I just like this, like, if you're going to just normal melee attack instead of just doing finishers. This is, this is kind of like a hybrid melee build of, like, finishers and heavy attacks and normal attacks it's kind of trying to do everything which i think it does do pretty well um discipline's merit you know it's nice to get the free tenokai or the free heavy attack in even though so with melee crescendo you very quickly stack up your combo counter to 12x even though you have 12x combo counter when you do a heavy attack it still needs to like go back up so it's still nice to get the Tenokai heavy attacks because Tenokai heavy attacks are also faster. So it's just like kind of nice quality of life to have um, the Tenokai mod on here. So that's what I'm using for the um, my melee weapon. And so um, focus school, you can kind of use whatever. Okay, this is awesome. Oh, okay, it was bugged out for a second. It was not... Uh, 
not what you're not letting me out of the arsenal. All right, so just one more time. So let's look at enemies. Actually, let me drop these guys down really quick. So let me put my sandstorm or my scarab swarm on them. Sorry, I'm getting used to all the new terminology. And let me scoop them up with sandstorm. Okay, so there's chugging along there. So now they have like look at all those status effects, right? So they're just they're just primed up to get you know attacked once they drop down. So pretty awesome. I think I think Anaros is like a really nice melee frame now. Okay, so you can do mercy kills. Oh, I guess that's the one thing I didn't mention was using power drain on your Parazon. That since you don't really have much strength on the build, and the only thing that scales with your strength is your armor, try to get a Parazon finisher in with power drain, and then reapply your armor. Um, but otherwise, man, Anaros is really freaking fun. Um, I think they absolutely nailed it with the rework. If I was going to replace anything for a Helminth, it would probably be his one. Um, just because, like, you don't really need his one at all. Like, you're getting ground finishers from his two. Um, you probably could still... I, I don't know if there's some enemies in the game that are would be susceptible to his one, but not his two. I don't doubt that's the case but it might be possible so if you really are all in on like the finisher play style then maybe it's worth keeping as one um i think like you know literally whatever you want to use on his one is is going to be fine with helminth um i would definitely not replace his two three or four though those are all really strong and honestly his one isn't even bad anymore it's you know it's kind of the same thing that used to be his best ability now it's his worst um so yeah definitely give Anaros a shot 100 percent will not regret it he is super awesome now um so yeah give Anaros a shot hopefully it goes well and uh let me know if you'd be interested in like a kind of general modding guide for frames so thanks everybody thanks for watching and i'll see you around